world? Welcome back to another episode of Hosted by Decent with me, your host, Decent. And my guest at this time could have been seen on the hit reality series Love and Hip Hop Miami, but there's more to her than drink throwing and hair pulling. She's also a very, very <laughs> talented musician and she just recently released a dope fire ass song with the head honcho himself, Quavo, called A Million. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Veronica Vega. Woo! <laughs> I'd clap for myself, but it'd be too much. Yeah. Nah, Snoop put out a whole album called I Wanna Thank Me, so clap for yourself. Go on, I really, I really... <laughs> Go on, How you doing, Veronica? I'm doing amazing. Thank God. Thank, thank you, and thank God for stopping by today. Thank God, man. Thank God every day. So, song, A Million. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about it. I had that record before Quavo got on it, so our idea wasn't originally for him to be on it. I love that song. I recorded it. I never recorded the hook to it because we knew we wanted a feature. We just didn't know who we wanted on mm -hmm. it. Um, I went to Miami. I'm from Miami. I record most of my stuff in Atlanta with Polo. And he was like, I want you to listen to this new mix. And then when I listened to it, Quavo was on it. And I was like, wow, you got Quavo on it. He was like, yeah. So maybe like four weeks later, we shot the video. He was super cool, professional. Like not on time, but was there before time. Like just cool, just super cool people. It was a great vibe. And I think even at the shoot, the way the song came about, everything was like effortless and it. It worked out, and now we like got 8.5 million views on a video in a really short amount of time. Yeah, a million got a few millions right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So speaking of the video, the video has a very, very interesting aesthetic. Like it's mm -hmm. like a combination between, I, I, I want to coin the term trap runway. Ah. You know because it has very, very you know hood you know unique elements to it, but very, very high fashion sense and quality to it. What was the inspiration behind some of the looks and the feel for the video? My stylist and I are really art driven. Mm -hmm. So we like things that um, are bigger than just wardrobe. Mm -hmm. So for us, I think that was more than more than anything, the goal wardrobe wise, visually in, in a wardrobe way. Mm -hmm. Aesthetically in general, I wanted something that was really clean something that looked really crispy and expensive because the song was a million, but I didn't want to be throwing money right. or anything like that. So I thought if you looked really nice, that would feel rich as opposed to showing that you're rich. Right. You see what I'm saying? Like I didn't want it to be literal. I wanted it, you to feel it. As most people know, you're from Miami mm -hmm. originally. Mm -hmm. um, you travel back and forth between Atlanta and Miami. Mm -hmm. So in the space of creating, in the space of making music, do you find one place to be more inspirational than the other at certain times, or they're kind of like neck and neck as far as everything that you're putting together? I think they're both inspirational at the same time. Mm. So not at different times. I, I love Atlanta for its hospitality. Right. I feel like Atlanta is like a have it your way place. Um, all the artists there are very connected. It's mm -hmm. almost like they were a family, like they like they are a family, like they grew up together. That's what it feels like. Um, I've never had a bad experience as far as like community goes in Atlanta. Um, Miami, I like because of the weather. I don't like the cold, so that to me always helps me be calm and peaceful. Oh, all this here, like in New York, that's not my fault. I, I would have. <laughs> well, it's not cold now. February, when I come here for Fashion Week in February, I, I it's I'm, terrible. I feel like crying every time I'm gonna go out. Like I have to pray. I gotta like you know well, prep you probably myself. Probably can't cry because it'll stick to your face. Yeah, no, it's so crazy. But yeah, and then and then I speak Spanish. That's my first language. So being in Miami is just easier to communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just you know, it's just a little bit the beaches, the water, the sunshine. The it's the, it's a little bit different than Atlanta. Atlanta's um, more. It's, it's more green, but in a in a park way instead of in a beach way. Yeah, I know what you mean. And yeah. There's not really a lot of beaches in Atlanta either. No, there's no beaches at all. Now we're going to have some fun. Okay. We're going to play a game. Now, the name of this game is A Million Or. I'm going to give you two options. One of them being a million dollars. The other one being something completely random. Okay. Now you have to choose whether or not you would take the million dollars or the other thing I'm offering. Okay. You ready? Ready. A million dollars or a lifetime supply of Fenty products. A million dollars. Million dollars. Cool. A million dollars or Beyonce's phone number. A million dollars. Hold up. Really? 
Yes. You can call her anytime, like, you know, blue chill no, out. Beyonce's Monica's phone number phone. doesn't guarantee anything. It just doesn't even guarantee she gonna answer. I know Beyonce's phone number guarantees. <laughs> it's like, uh, Beyonce's phone number, but what if she doesn't answer? And I'm sure she's not. Why not? Beyonce, listen. I feel like if you have Beyonce, and if I had a million dollars, I can do enough. I can have enough investments, do enough stuff for Beyonce to respect me enough to give me her phone number. Or you could have dinner with Jay Z, but no, you have to take a cool. million dollars. I, yeah, million dollars. Whatever. A million dollars or the opportunity to work with any musician, dead or alive. Take working with Celia Cruz. Really? Yes. Tell us a little bit more. She's go. Celia Cruz came to the United States and the revolution was happening in Cuba. Her mother stayed there. She wasn't allowed to go back and see her family. She was kicked out of her country. She was never able to go back. She um, sang with the, all the greats. She was in Africa with Muhammad Ali. Like she saw um, racism in its finest, the evolution of like people at that time like just she went through a lot of struggles like I, I just think that the power and the things that she experienced is what gave her music the soul that it had I, I don't think there's a price that you can put on that you know I told you I was gonna stump you <laughs> a million dollars or have a foundation resurrected in your name dedicated to whatever cause and charity a foundation resurrected in my name, yes. If you had to pick what the foundation would be catered towards, what would it be? A children's mental health. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. Now as a community, you know, both literally and figuratively, we're starting to get into the space where we can talk about mental health a lot more and we don't realize that a lot of the issues that we have as far as mental health as adults start when we're children. Mm -hmm. So I think that's super, super cool that you would want to start something based around mental health. I don't think that we have enough things for kids to be active, for kids to evolve, for kids to grow, for kids to be more creative, for like kids, I, I don't Kids to be kids in a sense. Yeah. Veronica, love the kids. Okay, final, final debate. A million dollars or an interview with Decent. I already had an interview with DC. <laughs> so I said the million dollars. <laughs> Set myself up for that. Yeah, I, was, I already did that. All this talk about building up your self esteem and. <laughs> <laughs> wow, Veronica. Okay. <laughs> so, the song is out. Um, are we getting a body of work soon? Because you can't just give us this one banger and then just leave us waiting for more. So, what's coming up for you? The next thing is another single. Mm -hmm. Um. We're working on a body of we're working on a body of work. We have a, I have a lot of music. The thing for me is like in putting out music. I think Polo and I have always been like we want to make sure that the entire vision of what it is mm -hmm. is one idea, right? Um, not and not just thrown not just a bunch of things thrown together. Now it's more like I know who I am. I I know what I represent. I know what I want my audience to feel. Yeah. I know what I, what I want the influence to be for them. So we're working on that now, but I can't give a, this is when it's gonna happen because I'm not in a rush. I wanna continue to put out music, but the project together, I want it to be out at the right time with a real purpose. Whenever you and Polo so choose to bless us with this project, we will be waiting. Thank you. Where can people find you at on social media? Veronica Vega. Everything Veronica Vega. Instagram, Veronica Vega. Twitter, Facebook, Vega Mundo. V-E-G-A-M-U-N-D-O. And then Veronica Vega's website. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Veronica Vega. Woo! A million is out now. The video is out now. Make sure you go download it, buy it, stream it, whatever you need to do to get it. This has been another episode of Hosted by Decent with me, your host, Decent, and we will see you soon. Peace. Yo, thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more like it, subscribe to our channel and click the little bell to be notified of brand new content. And also, make sure you visit our website, popthis.com, and follow us on all social media at popthis.com.